The start of the new collection is both exciting and scary. This one came from a mere idea. I spent a few days in Matera, a little town in the south of Italy in spring, and what I saw there really stayed with me. There I saw churches carved into the mountain, but you could see the roots and the nature growing through the walls trying to wind back the mountains. It was absolutely fascinating. I came back to Berlin still thinking about it and about how much beauty can emerge when we humans are not trying to control everything because random, broken, imperfect can just be so pretty. I found that this feeling actually has a name in Japanese. It's called wabi-sabi, which means everything in this world, human made or not, is unfinished, imperfect and non-permanent. Even if you live in a very large city like I do in Berlin, if you take the time to look around you, you will see wabi-sabi and get this feeling everywhere, on the streets, in gardens, buildings, everywhere you look really. I guess this was my starting point for the collection. I just grabbed paper and a pen and I tried to write down and describe in words all the thoughts and the feelings that were suddenly popping up everywhere in my head. This needs to go fast, otherwise I always feel like I might lose thoughts on the way. The visual research went really well. It all grew quite organically. I got to at least a hundred good pictures very quickly. But 100 is great as an inspiration wall, not as a concrete and directional mood board. So I knew I needed to trim all that down and edit big time. At that moment, I realized that most of my pictures are in fact textures. I barely have any shapes in there. So I know what the collection will feel like, but I have no idea yet what it will look like, which is a bit of an issue, isn't it? When I have a problem, usually I go make tea. Tea is like yoga for in between. I had a construction teacher when I was studying at Parsons who said, you know, Fashion is not like business. You don't start with the hardest part. Here you start with the easiest part. And if you have a problem, just leave your work aside, come back to it later. The solution to the problem might come to you while you're doing something completely different anyways. And I was like, aha. By the way, I call this project Project Hassin because every project I do has a code name and you will see why. The mood board came 
organically. So I decided to create the shapes organically as well. And for me, the best way, the most intuitive way of designing is not with flat patterns. It's in 3D, draping fabric onto a dress form to see how it feels and how it folds. I ordered a dressmaking form, the kind that has collapsible shoulders that you can push up and down, where you can pin onto, etc. It's my first professional dress form since I left fashion school, since I graduated. So unboxing it was better than Christmas. <laughs> Mounting it, on the other hand. And you put a dress onto the dress for me, it starts <laughs> going down. <laughs> like, where is it going? <laughs> Meanwhile, in my head, the collection just keeps growing. Once I started, I can't stop thinking about it. So I started to sketch very early on in the process. At the beginning, it's very quick, basic, simple. I just want to keep bits and pieces and thoughts for later. It's not a proper illustration yet because I don't know the exact proportions and, and all the details yet. The creative process is just one part of the job. The other parts include sourcing fabrics, finding suppliers in Europe who are willing to work with my quantities. Will they produce in the color that I want? Because I don't want standard colors. Hi, I'd like 50 pieces of this. Do you do that? Sure, we'll do it if you take 300 pieces and pay everything up front. No? Thank you! For this collection, I'm also managing the whole logistical part. So fabrics need weeks to be produced, then shipped, then production also needs weeks. Information gets lost in the way or in translation, literally. This is where it gets stressful and that's why larger companies actually have production managers who do only that. Basically, I'm in the middle of the creative process. I already started sourcing fabrics, calculating prices, looking for suppliers, all at the same time, <laughs> and documenting the process on top. Right now, I don't know how to stay on top of things. My days are getting longer and longer. <laughs> I'd be fine, but at the moment, it is a stretch. Coming up. Folds, gathers, random patterns. I'm missing the info of which ones are in stock service. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs>